Hey everybody, welcome back and welcome to Tennessee. You guys have been wanting to see new videos from my uh, trip to Tennessee, moving to Tennessee, our new homestead. We're not there on the homestead today. We're in the RV, my little bitty kitchen. I thought my kitchen in Fort Lauderdale was small. This is even smaller. I'm trying to come up with a little arrangement here that will help for you guys to get a feeling that you're in the kitchen and I got some area to work. But I'm loving it up here. I can't believe that I'm finally here. I'm going to do a video this weekend from up on the land. It's uh, 1109 um, feet above sea level. When we got there, it was nothing but woods, overgrown. It was crazy. You couldn't, I mean, you had to dig your way through everywhere, everything. So we've been working since the middle of May, end of May, and now have a large, probably about half acre maybe a little more cleared off. We have driveway done to up to the land. We've got paths going through. We got a path going down to the creek. I can't wait to show you the creek. It's beautiful. So what I'm gonna show you today is what's easiest for me. When I get back from working up there all weekend and we're exhausted, I just want a cold pasta salad. I don't want anything hot. I don't want anything filling. So I did get one box of bow tie pasta that I cooked off. And let's see if I can get that in there without spilling it all over. It is cooled. I cheated so I could get this done early and I put ice water in it so it would cool a little bit quicker. If you notice, I'm not using my gas oven. I don't like to cook with gas in the camper, too much moisture. Plus I just don't like gas in this little confined area. So I'm using my uh, infrared stove top and it works great. So to this, we're going to be using my ugly chicken. I'm gonna get my handy dandy opener out here. And this is, you guys watch me can this back in Fort Lauderdale. All my canned stuff is working out great here. It's not all here. I got lucky that um, there is a U-Haul storage facility that is climate controlled. So all of my stored goods our, our canned goods are stored there, so they're not getting hot. They're not going to spoil. They're nice and good. So I'm just going to break this up a little bit. I've been using the chicken a lot lately. And it comes down great for chicken salad, for using in pasta dishes. So I'm just going to pour that in there. So this is another use for your, I call it ugly chicken. As somebody said one time, my chicken looked ugly in that jar. I don't want to break it up too much. I don't want shredded, and I'm going to be tossing this around so it will break up some more when I'm doing it. So I'm going to leave it in pretty good sized chunks. Let me rinse off my knife that I'm going to use. I don't have my big knives here yet. I forgot to get them out of the storage unit this week. So I'm just using my small knives, but they work. Let me scoot this out of the way here. I'm just going to dice this medium purple onion, red onion. I don't know why they call them red onions. This is definitely purple. I'm just gonna make small dices. I love onion. And so I'm gonna use the whole thing. If you don't like a lot of onion, you can just use half of one or just use a small onion. Either way is gonna be good. Put this in here. But I am going to use the entire onion. Like I said, we got up here mid-May and we were using a side it's called well city easement that they've got alongside our property which is great because up that city easement they put in sewer mains so don't have to worry about doing a septic system which is really great and it actually borders right our property borders right on the city so we are in the county we have no restrictions no building codes anything like that so it's great for what we're going to do building a cabin but we didn't we used that easement to get up to our property and didn't realize there was a driveway just to the let's see i'm looking at the west side of the property until we started clearing away some brush and found a driveway that went up and i'm going to show you that going up the driveway there's a nice slope going up it's beautiful i love going there first thing in the morning saturday or sunday morning and just the sun coming through the, the trees there i have a picture here i'll show you i'll put it up right here and it's just one, I just turned around and saw that. I couldn't believe how beautiful it was. So I'm going to use a pint of cherry tomatoes. 
haven't found any local cherry tomatoes yet. I've been getting some regular tomatoes and making tomato sandwiches. They are delicious. I love the taste of real tomatoes and they're all coming on now here in Tennessee. So there's a couple of farm stands that I pass because we're about 30 minutes from our property where we're staying in the RV because we can't get the RV up to the property yet. We have to get cleared and get the driveway graded so we can actually get up there. I would do, do mom's little trick using the two lids, but I don't have two lids right now. So I'm just doing it the old fashioned way, just like you guys would. But once we get the driveway graded and can get up there, pull this camper up there, we'll be living right there while we build the cabin. So like I said, I got a pint of these on our bow court. And I've got a red and a orange pepper, bell pepper. You can use green, you can use whatever you want. I got those at the farm stand when I went by the other day and they looked good. So that's what I grabbed. But like I said, this is great for when you're working outside all day. I'm going to put it together now and I'm going to eat it tomorrow when I get back from working up there. Don't have to worry about cooking anything. I'm going to be hot and tired and this will be nice and cool. And I don't have to worry about heating up the camper. Because the only heating it did was just boiling that pasta. And we have been, well a lot of you live in this area. Because a lot of you tell me what parts of Tennessee you're in. It's been in the 90s here. And it's funny at work everybody was complaining about how hot it was. And I was like, it's kind of Florida weather to me. But there is a difference in the humidity and the temperature here in the mountains. And we're in the Cumberland Mountains, northeast Tennessee. And actually that's where... My mom was born like 30 minutes right on the other side of the Cumberland Mountain from where we're at. So it's kind of like being where my family's from. It's her, my grandpa, his parents, their parents. I think like six generations were there that came into the Appalachian Mountains. So that's done. I'm just going to toss this together a little bit. Break up those onions. It's going to be a pretty salad. I mean, it's got all kinds of colors, purple and red, orange. So let me get these all done. Peppers, nice. They smell delicious. Put this in my trash. I'm just going to rinse out the seeds here. going to slice out the membranes get them out of the way that's where some of the bitterness is I got a little trash can back here in the corner so I don't have it all up here for you guys to see and I'm not going to waste the bottom I'm going to use it too but it's just easier to go through it this way and I leave mine in pretty good sized chunks because I like the taste of the pepper. If you don't, you can mince them up even smaller. I miss my butcher knife and my chef's knives. I have to go get those this week. You guys are going to see in a video shortly. They had a big sale at the cast iron, at the Lodge cast iron. And that's a Tennessee company made here in the USA. They had a big 50% off sale at their store in Sevierville. So I went up there, got all kinds of stuff. So I'll be showing you all that I got from there and I'm gonna use a lot of it up at the land doing a cookout up there for y'all. Get these all done. Now you can use any kind of dressing you like. This I'm just throwing together with a salad dressing. I think it's Chipotle Ranch. If you want, you can make your own sour cream, little cup of sour cream. Actually, I have a recipe. I'll put a link to it down below to one I did. It's just sour cream and mayonnaise and then whatever seasonings you like. But I thought since I'm going to go quick and easy on this, I'm just going to do the same thing. Use the salad dressing that's already mixed. You know what? I don't think I need that other pepper. There's going to be plenty of pepper for this salad because it was pretty large so we're just gonna put this one back we're just gonna use the red and we're all done with this so let me bring this together 
I might finally have the right size bolt. I always get one too small. Now to this, I'm going to add a 11 ounce can of corn. If you want, you could get the corn with the little red peppers in it. That would be nice, but since I'm using my red pepper, I didn't need that. And any kind of beans you want. I like kidney beans, so that's what I opted for today. And the bowl is filling up. I just drained all the juice out of that, especially the red um, juice from the kidney beans, because that would have made the salad really dark and gingy looking. Okay, so we're going to get that all mixed together. And this is better the next day, so it's nice to make it now, put it in the refrigerator, and let it sit. So I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Maybe a little more. I love garlic powder. And we're going to put some dried chives in here. Probably about three or four tablespoons full. And even though I have onion in there, I still like onion powder because I love the taste of onion. I'm going to do it that way. I'm going to spill it all. So probably about another half a teaspoon and half a teaspoon of both oregano and basil. I like the two of those together. All right, get all these back here. Gonna get a sip of my iced tea. Have to have my sweet tea now that I'm in Tennessee. And I've got an eight ounce package of this one's taco blend. Only got taco blend because taco blend was on sale. So that's gonna go in last. First, I'm gonna put in the dressing because that's gonna help it all stick together. And when I start tossing it, it's not going to fall out. This is a 16 ounce of Southwest Chipotle Ranch. I've got another bottle in the refrigerator because the pasta, even though I cooled it, it continues to absorb moisture. So this may be a little bit dry tomorrow. And I want to put a little bit more in it. So let me just mix this slowly together. I'm going to get all those seasonings mixed in. I like to put the seasonings on top and then the sauce. That way it's sauce grabs onto those seasonings and puts it down into the pasta as I mix it. can't believe this is my first, first video from Tennessee. It's great. Wish I'd have moved here years ago. I'll tell you, when I get up to the property, we get up there and we just sit there and I don't, I don't even want to do anything. It's just, it's so beautiful listening to the birds. I've got trail cams. We have a picture here. I'll put it here. All kinds of deers. This one had baby. We just got her and her baby, her fawn, on trail cam the other day. It's kind of blurry because it was a little bit dark and sun was setting shadow. So you can't really see the fawn a lot. I'll put it up here and put a little arrow to the fawn. So I've been feeding them. I got some deer blocks because I'm not hunting the deer on my property. And figured we've got coyote. I've caught a coyote, possum, um, turtles. We have a box turtle. Here's a picture of a box turtle. And I think it's female because this past weekend... Here's another picture. This is of the baby who was just walking around watching us. And it was really good to see that there's a lot of wildlife there. Got minnows, all kinds of little fish down in the creek. And it's just, it's amazing being in nature. And I don't even want to come back to the camper sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to put the, all the cheese in. Not all at once because I will spill it. Get it all mixed up. But like I said, I'm going to start doing a lot of videos from up there. So you get a lot. See, that when you say you can't cook because you don't have a big enough kitchen, well, obviously you can cook even if you don't have a big kitchen. And I'm going to be cooking outside. So I'm going to show you how you can do it outside over a fire. Take my burner up there because I have electric now with a solar generator. So I'll be able to do anything there that I could do in my kitchen in Fort Lauderdale. And the kitchen that's coming in our camper or in our cabin. I like cheese. We're going to use it all. So this is, I don't even have a name for this. We're just going to call it Southwest Chipotle chicken pasta salad. 
because I just literally went through the other day at the store and said, let's see what I could put in another pasta salad. So I'll probably be doing a lot of these because I love cold pasta salads in the summer and it is hot up here right now. All right, so let me give this a taste. Clean off my spoon. Actually, it's probably going to need some salt and pepper because I did not. I need salt. Definitely. Can't do salt without pepper. And I do have to tell mom thanks. She's been doing all kinds of videos. I haven't got them all edited because we've been really busy trying to get the land cleared. But she's been stepping up and doing a lot more videos for me. So I'm going to probably put a couple of hers a week. Maybe three. And get those all out so you guys got something to watch. But I promise I'm going to try to do at least one to two videos a week now. That I have the time to do it. It's good in our taste. Hmm, That's perfect. That Chipotle dressing is not spicy at all more of a smoky flavor but you can taste the peppers in it so this will be number one of many videos to coming to you from tennessee all of them are coming from tennessee now i'll show you one this coming week of me at the um, cast iron getting cast iron at the lodge store in Sevierville, and i'll bring it all I, I, actually i'll take it all it's in the truck and i'm going to take it up the land to use so I'll, in one of my videos i'll just do it from there and show you everything i bought it's been under two hundred dollars and i can't believe everything i got so you guys, if you're ever in the Spearville area, Pigeon Forge, and one just over the Georgia-Tennessee border, they have their main factory. You guys got to stop in because they got some good prices when you're not having to buy them on Amazon and buying them through the store. I literally bought a cast iron griddle for, I think, $19 at the, cast, at the lodge store. The next day I saw it at um, Lowe's for $40. So I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. Let it cool overnight, and tomorrow when I get back from the property, I got dinner ready. So thanks for joining me. I'm so glad to be in Tennessee. I'm glad you guys are here with me, and I'm going to show you a whole lot more. If you have any recipes you want me to do, especially over the campfire, give me, you know, put them in the comments down below. I'll put this recipe um, down below in the description, also on gregs-kitchen.com. I think it's going to become Greg's Farmstead Kitchen because, I mean, I'm going to have my farmstead now. So... Thank you guys all for sticking with me and all the beautiful comments and things you guys have been sending. I'll talk to you again soon and God bless and have a great day. Bye-bye.